The beauty of indoor herbs is that they're often the gift that keeps on giving. Harvest after harvest, they keep coming back to life to provide the bounty. But it all comes at a cost. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome back to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we're always for free. And today's episode is all about fertilizing and replenishing your indoor herbs. Hey, time short as it always is, so let's dive in. Growing herbs indoors, such as this little batch of oregano here, comes with a whole host of benefits. Things like moderate temperatures, no harsh weather extremes, and of course, they're virtually pest free. But grown inside, in tiny little containers, the plants don't have access to an infinite supply of nutrients to keep giving us those harvests. On top of that, the smelly organic fertilizers that we normally use outside aren't really ideal for indoor life. Even the ones that we love, that we make ourselves. So what can we do? Well, there's two ways to handle this. One being before we plant, and one being after. First up, we can fortify our soils before planting with slow release organic solutions, things like alfalfa pellets, rock phosphate, and rock dust. Build up that soil to be so nutritious that it lasts for the life of the herbs, which can be upwards of six months or more. The other option comes after planting, and that's a liquid organic feed. Only this time, we're gonna skip the fish fertilizers entirely and go straight to kelp or seaweed extracts. Right off the bat, there's gonna be far less smell, and the array of micronutrients and trace minerals in these types of fertilizers is gonna fortify the herbs to taste better and be more nutritious than ever. For NPK, you want to shoot for a balanced mix, if not slightly higher in nitrogen. When we grow herbs, it's all about the foliage, and N, or nitrogen, is its biggest contributor. The best time to fertilize is right after each major harvest. That's when the plants are going to need replenishing the most. Just dilute to the manufacturer's specs and watch your favorite indoor herbs bounce back faster and better than they ever have before. Know what else is better than before? Checking out the next episode of The Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching, guys. And hey, if garden quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.